In this video, we're going to go over navigation of um, the Blackboard for the course, and then also the syllabus and some of the things that might be necessary. First of all, when you log into Blackboard, you'll get the announcements page that looks like this. You'll also always see the most current announcement up top. You'll also receive all announcements in your email. Feel free at any time to scroll through and see what the announcements are. You'll have the start here, which is where you're at right now, where what you're doing is you'll see the various videos. Uh, there's also the syllabus review, which you're going through, going through right now. There's information as far as it's an online course and some of the things that you need to be aware of, so make sure you read over those documents, please. The technology prerequisites, and then also a video as far as using Blackboard. So please make sure you go through each of those things just to make sure you're clear as far as how to use the course. Under teaching staff, here's some of my background, some of the things that I've done, and again, my contact information. Under syllabus, you'll see that you have the syllabus that you can uh, open up and download. Uh, it will look like this right here. We'll go over that here in just a bit. You have the various rubrics as far as how you're going to be judged in both the discussion boards and in uh, the uh, graded, uh, graded assignments. Look those over. Under assignments, you'll notice that each week has a series of assignments and it shows what the dates are for, it for the various weeks. What you do is you click on it and it will show you and give you instructions as far as here are each of the things that need to be done. So you may want to make sure that you're clicking them off. To go back to the other assignments, you can always use the cookie crumbs to go and see some of the things. When it comes to submitting assignments, you'll notice for this week here, you have two assignments that need to be submitted. What you do is you click on it, You can always see the rubric as far as how the assignment is going to be judged. All right. It will show you what's below average, average, above average, and excellent, and the number of points that's associated with each of those sections as far as organization, resources, etc. This gives you some direction as far as how you want to write up your various written assignments. It also has, well, then what you'll do is when you have your document all pulled together, you can go ahead and drag and drop, put that document in, or you can browse your computer to get to it. Going back as far as the assignments are concerned, you'll see that each week has various assignments that are associated with it. So make sure that you follow through on the instructions for each week's assignments. Then you have the discussion boards. You'll notice that there are a lot of discussion boards. We have one pretty much each week. Uh, there is a video as far as how to use discussion boards, how to post, how to respond, things like that. Then you have your readings and resources. In the readings and resources, there's a section in there on how to review the feedback that you get as far as the discussion boards are concerned. There's a document there. You open it up and it shows you how to go in and see all of the things that have been there. Uh, you have a link to APA formatting help. OWL, or the Online Writing Lab at Purdue University, has a great APA uh, website that shows you examples and shows you how to do APA. You don't need APA for the discussions. You do need, do need it for the, um, for the written assignments. Book review help. There's two documents that gives you some ideas as far as how to do college level book reviews. Now, this is not your typical high school book report. These are reviews. So please make sure you read those over. There's also a couple of documents and samples of good book reviews to give you some ideas. Then there might be some other op, uh, articles and things like that that we ask you to read. Then under my grades. One of the things I suggest you do is every week check my grades. It's going to show you where you stand as far as the class is concerned, as far as your overall grade. It will also show what it is that you have earned for each of the assignments that you have. At any one point in time, you should know where it is that you stand as far as your grade is concerned because everything is going to be submitted to Blackboard. I get things turned around within uh, a few days whenever something's submitted. So please make sure you go out to my grades and look that over. When it comes to the 
to the syllabus. You have my contact, contact information in the description of the course. You also have the learning objectives that go along with this. Please read these over to see what it is that you're going to be expected to do and to learn. And then you have your course requirements. A week is from Monday to Sunday. That's the way, that's the, way the, the weeks are set up here. Um, each week you're going to have readings or videos to watch. You'll have discussions to accomplish and then there may be some assignments that are necessary. All assignments and instructions are posted during the week here in Blackboard. Don't email me anything. Please submit everything to Blackboard. Now, let's say that you have uh, you want some feedback on a draft of a paper that you're writing. You want to send that to me, then email that to me, and I'll give you feedback on how to fix it. When you're ready to submit it, you go ahead and submit it to Blackboard. Don't email it to me. Uh, one of the things I ask is every student call me during the first week or, or two of class. The reason for that is because I like to get to know students as something more than just text on a screen. This gives us a chance to uh, get to know each other and I can answer any kind of questions that you might have fairly easily. And one of the key points or key aspects of the class are the discussion forums. The, the week goes from Monday to Sunday. And the minimum, as far as the discussions are concerned, is your initial post answering the question by Thursday, and then three significant responses by Sunday. Now, meeting the minimum equates to a C. Make sure you read that over in the syllabus. Just meeting minimums equates to a C. In other words, that's average. If you want to improve your grade, as far as the discussions are concerned, what you do is you get involved earlier, as far as your initial post. You, respond to more than just three responses. You bring in new information, new articles, new ex examples, new evidence as far as that question is concerned. You challenge students as far as their thinking and the things that they're doing. In other words, just think about a really good discussion class that's on ground, that's in a classroom. Think about how that might work. That's the way that we want these discussions to work. You have your book review. Now, one of the things that I've done is set it up so that the book review is done in two halves. The first half, uh, you go ahead and read the book, you do a review, you do basically a draft, you send it to me, and what I'll do is I'll make comments to it. The second half, what you do is you add things to it that were not added before and make any kind of corrections and things like that that I might have suggested as far as the initial draft. A lot of times what I'm thinking is, People have not finished the book by this time, by the first half. And so I'm thinking, okay, the first half of the book review, what they're doing is they're just giving the first half of what they've read and then the last half of what they've read. So that's why we break it up into two. You have your reflected best self. Now, the reflected best self is, a, is a, um, uh, an assignment where you are asking people that you know, people that you've worked with, maybe family members also, to answer basically the question, when I was at my best, what did you see me doing? And then what you do is you gather that information, consolidate it, analyze it, and put together your reflected best self. There's more information in the assignment that shows how to do that and the things that need to be necessary to do that. And you can see that that's worth 80 points. Then you have your learning and actions papers. Now again, I've done this in two halves. The first half, learning and actions as far as what it is that you learned for the first half of the course, and then how are you going to use it? Think of it as a 50-50 split. 50% description, specific description of the learnings that you've had, 50% specific action plans on how you're actually going to use those learnings going forward. So you have that for the first half of the class and then you have one for the second half of the class. If you'll notice, I put maximums on there as far as the number of pages. So in other words, it says max of 10 pages. That's a guideline, not a rule. In other words, if it goes to 11, 12, 15, you don't get counted off. If you try to do it in two, you're gonna get hammered as far as the grade is concerned. All assignments are due by the prescribed date. If you don't turn it in on time, it's not going to be counted, it gets a zero, unless there are extenuating circumstances. Contact me if you, uh, please contact me if you do have some of those circumstances. In case the system goes down, you're not going to be held accountable if something's late, that's okay. Now, the other thing is, particularly in the discussion boards, every student has the right to express their opinion on things. 
You may not agree. That's okay. That's a part of the learning process. Be open to other people's opinions. Doesn't mean you have to agree with everything, but be open. And when you disagree, do it, um, do it with compassion. All right. Do it with respect. The instructor's expectations, I get back to you within 48 hours. I get everything graded within 48 hours. I like to, I want people to know where it is that they stand. And nobody likes to turn something in and not get feedback on it for a couple of weeks. So I do everything I can to turn that around within 24 to 48 hours. Another thing is, when it comes to email, only use your ODU email address. If you send me something with your personal address, like a Gmail or Yahoo, I'm not going to answer it. The reason is to protect you. It's to protect you and your identity, and it's also based on FERPA regulations, which are federal regulations. So when it comes to email contact, please use only your ODU email. You'll see how the evaluation is done. There are 12 discussion boards, each 10 points each for 120 points. Your book review is worth 100 points, and it's broken up into two, two of them, 50, uh, 50 points each. Your reflected best self is worth 80 points. And then the learning and actions, again, broken up into two, 50 points each for a total of 100 points. And you can see how the grades are situated as far as the number of points and the percentages. Then it comes to the actual assignments and the week by week um, information. So this is just like the weekly, uh, the weekly assignments that's in Blackboard. What it does is it shows you some of the key things that need to be done each week. So it will show you for the week now, especially like the first week is a short week because we have the Martin Luther King holiday where the university is closed from Saturday through Monday. So the first week is a short week. The second week is a short week. And you'll see the topics that are there, the assignments, and the things that need to be done during the week. Most weeks, it's going to be just discussion boards. Other weeks, it will be submissions as far as papers and things. So please look over the syllabus. Let me know if you have questions. And uh, I'm looking forward to working with each of you as far as the semester is concerned.